Hello everyone, Chris here at U-Joint Off-Road again. This thing's pretty cool. This is a 2002 E350 Chinook. If you're not familiar with the Chinook campers, check them out, do some Googling. Um, they're very popular. Um, this one is ridiculously clean. It's a little dirty right now because it's been sitting outside. We're going to get it clean before the customer picks it up. But um, low mileage, I think this thing's got under 40,000 miles on it. It was here at a dealership in North Carolina. They specialize in these Class B and B plus RVs. <clears throat> so our customer purchased it, had it sent here, and it's been patiently waiting its turn for us to do our thing. So uh, uh, it's V10, 4100, NV271 behind that. Got a full transmission rebuild and upgrade to four wheel drive. Six inch lift on 33s. Uh, so custom spec springs, front and rear, of course. One with the stock wheels on this that have been blasted and coated. So you can see the SSBC brake calipers poking through the holes. Uh, 255, 85, 16 Toyo mud terrain all the way around. Single Fox 2.0. <clears throat> 1350 CV drive shafts front and rear. It's got our FB003 aluminum front bumper for the 92 07 vans up front. Loaded up with Baja design lights, worn winch, front receiver. It's got our <clears throat> Agency 6 U-joint fair lead, back to 55 thimble, the functioning Anderson plug. Um, you get a lot of questions about that. So that just enables you to get access to the battery without getting under the hood. So we wire that right to the battery, just like the winch. And um, you can get another plug and plug it up there. So if you need to ju get jumped off or jump somebody off, you can do it from the bumper without messing with the alligator clips and all that stuff. Front OBA port is there. This rig does have OBA and an S-Pod to control the lights and the OBA and the front locker. It's a stage two front axle, 456 gears. It's got the Eaton E-Locker and the Spintech hub conversion and SSBC eight piston calipers. Stout front end. Uh, also up front, we removed the fiberglass flares and step. Went with a Bushwhacker flare in our in-house made cab chassis side steps. Inside, we didn't do anything besides add a shifter and the S-Pod control on the door panel. They usually don't show the shifters, but here they are. If you have a question about where our shifter goes, that's it. Tune from Five Star Tuning. Uh, OBA is mounted underneath. Out back, stock wheels, 255, 85, 16s and our E350 airbag bracket. Got a full uh, floating airbag in the rear. So out back, what appears to be our stock bumper is not. So we started looking at the des a design for a replacement bumper on this thing. It's just really hard because of the way the frame is done and the way the step is set up and the way the hitch is set up. You see there's actually a trailer hitch hidden right there. So this is the main access to the, the um, with only access to the camper, keeping the step functional was key. So we played with some of our existing bumper parts and cut them up and modified them to work with this Chinook. So we've got the driver's side swing, works just like our regular bumper. Still have access to that little cargo compartment and the step is still functional. So it kind of modernized the rear end a little bit We've got our rigid running lights and reverse lights there. And here you've got the airbag um, Schraders and the rear OBA port. A bit of modern to match the front and to clean this thing up a little bit. And that's it. Out back, it's a stock Dana 70. We re-geared to 456 gears and didn't do anything else back there. So... If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or shoot me an email, chris at ujointoffroad.com. Don't forget we have our shop in Colorado. It does installs. He doesn't have quite as long a lead time as we do. We're still booking about a year out right now. As of today, end of September 2022, he is booking for late spring 23. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. If you don't already, I post daily shop updates. Let you know what's going on here and what we're working on. All right, that's it. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.